to go for this Greco-Roman kind of sophisticated answer to explain away that the Shema, for example, that God is one. Yeah. He is one and you should worship him, not one in three persons. And this comes from later on, but it's not biblical anyway. Like a Gentile, if you understand like a Gentile saying, why, why only one, when, when there's all these different things? Why is there only one believe in one God? How does that work? It's the same question as saying, why is the Trinity? Okay, how does it work? And so you get all these questions about the Trinity. Okay, so, so it has to have a death. Okay, okay. Listen, so... Listen, it's, it doesn't... That's not the point. Yeah? It, that's not the point. The point is... We have revelation time and time and time again. Every single prophet, including Isa alayhi salam, Jesus, came with one single message. Forget about all the frills, you know, the commandments and this, that and the other. They came with one single message. And what was that? That there is only one God. And this is what one I was telling you. God. Hold on. One God. That's all it is. No, yeah? I mean, that, and, that, wasn't the, your, that wasn't the argument. No, that, no. That wasn't his main. Who, 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 right, who? We'll, we'll, we'll move on to that, yeah? But in your, in your situation, when they ask Jesus, they ask him two things. What are you here for? He said, I've not come. I've not come but to fulfill the law, not to take away from it, not to introduce anything new. Second thing was, they asked him, what is the most important commandment? And what did he do? He quoted the Shema. You know what the Shema is? Yeah? The law, um, God is one. Yeah, it's just one. There is nothing, nothing that suggests three. Now, that's why we believe we're not no, no no he said to, to worship the lord your god with all your heart no no he said shama israel adonai i listen as in we had oh please it's go around to speak to him but why are you going to excuse me can, can can you, this, this conversation is this conversation is you've been watching lord of the rings or something Listen, listen, you say you're a prophet, yeah? I've got some water here. Can you please change, change it to ginger beer, right? And, I, and then I'll listen to you. And then I'll listen okay, to you. Thank you. Yeah? Okay, so anyway, let's go back to what we were originally talking about, yeah? So we spoke about, yeah? I had lunch. We spoke though. about Trinity. I just give it a second to die now. Because I can't, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't, focus. that's the thing, I can't, I can't yeah, I can focus see. on yeah, like yeah, one I person see. if everyone is. Yeah, I can see, I can see. I can only focus on one person. So, so, no, that's fine. Yeah. Go ahead. So, so I, can't, I can't respond to you both, but it has I, to be. I know, no, this is, you go ahead. Let, let's keep it in a the flow then. I understand what you're saying because too I'll, many I'll people can off, be overwhelming, yeah? Okay, so we spoke about so many things here. We, <laughs> we spoke about so many things. This is the second time Christians are interrupting me like this. This, uh, and it's not all Christians, you know, Allah is it's not all it's of them people. are the same. It's, it's, people. it's, people. it's people, it's people, you're right, it's people. But for some reason they did, to me, not busy people, busy Christians. But anyway, well, okay. we spoke about the Bible, it's compilation, we, saw, we didn't get to its canonization. Why were those books chosen? There's something called Apocrypha, we didn't get onto that. So then you have to ask yourself, why were these books created? And then you have different editions or versions of the Bible, the Ethiopian church, the Eastern church, the Western church, the Syriac church. Why have it, they, they've got X amount of books and those have got X amount of books. So it's like from the inception of who Jesus was, what is recorded in the Bible about him, you know, the compilation of the books. Who wrote them, this and that, who, why was it gathered? You have a series of problems. And we haven't even got onto the claim of the Church Fathers of the Trinity and the development of the Trinity. They say that this is not biblical per se, it's not, so, not Shola Scriptura. So they know, they accept that they're not taking it from the Bible. Because when you do take it from the Bible, you get Jesus saying that the Father is greater than me. Now the Church Fathers later are saying, Jesus is lesser than God the Father because he's speaking about his humanity. But Jesus never said that. And I remember I quoted to you the verse last time, all things in the end shall be subjected to God, including the Son. All things in the end should be subjected to God the Father, even the Son. Which means that the humility of Jesus in flesh is not just in flesh, 
is after when he gave up his flesh, when he, in the end, all things should, should be subjected, including the Son. Means that God the Son, as you say, and God the Father are not equal. You fall into one problem and after another. They're not. So the early church fathers said that he was referring to himself as being lesser than his humanity. Some of the early church fathers did, not all of them. For example, I don't believe any of them, or I don't know of any of the church well, fathers. That was the issue with Arian. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, don't, as I don't believe any of the church fathers, I can bring, have the same view of God in terms of the triunal formula that you say, as you do. Some of them you might say is saying that Jesus is a God aside from the God. Some might say there's three gods, yeah, but none of them come with the formula three persons, distinct, equal, the Father, the Ghost, the, the, the Son. None of them come with all of that formulation, eternally begotten, eternally proceeded. This is things, as you know, it came over a period of time and it didn't come from the prophets. Jesus never said that, you know. I'm not wasting my time here trying to make you, you know, hate Christianity, but I'm trying to show you that there's another way. You don't have to abandon your belief, you just have to readjust it. Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu, Allah says in the Quran, O oh, you believe, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu, istajeebu lillahi wa li rasooli, idha da'akum. Oh, Allah says, O oh, you who believe, answer Allah and His Messenger when He calls to you. Lima yuhyikum to that which gives you life. This is Al Islam. This is Quran. This is Tawheed. This is what all the other messengers taught. So it says, Alam yaani. Has not the time come for the hearts of those who believe to subjugate them to the manger, the dhikr, dhikr Allah, to Allah? When is it? Why is it you waiting for? The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he says, Kun fi dunya ka annaka ghareeb. Be in this earth as if you were a stranger, out Abd al Sabir, someone who Abd al Sabir, someone who's, who travels. Why? Because this life is temporary. You and I will be resurrected in front of our Lord, and He will ask us very straightforward Who did you worship? Did you worship aside from me? That, that, doesn't, that doesn't conflict with classic teaching. Classic teaching is, is be in the world, not of the world. That's good, so you're a step closer to Islam. But what Catholic, Catholic teaching does affirm is that God is three persons. This is not a biblical teaching. God, three yes, three persons. I, 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 yes, one God in three persons, but the three persons is not in the Bible. The one God is in the Bible. The three persons individually. The three persons individually is not in the Bible. And every instance you even the, see. The Holy Spirit is referred to in the Bible. Some, I know some of the. Uh, accolades or names they use for the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Sometimes Epiphany is God Himself. Yeah, when like, when an angel or something comes down. Anyway, what's the point you're getting at? Sorry, I'm gonna start waffling as well. What's the point you're getting at? What have I said that doesn't resonate with you? Because this is the crunch. I'm telling you, Islam is telling you, one God, all the messages. The Prophet Muhammad said, he says all of the messengers are the same, but we have different mothers. Why? Because their message is the same. La ilaha illallah. There is no other God worthy of worship except for Allah, the one true God. It's no, eternal no, life. No, none, none of the stuff that you're saying I disagree with. That's the thing. So what are you like, waiting for? Honestly. You, you, you are left in puzzlement with the Trinity. You're, and you are. We've spoken about this. You're left. Okay, explain to me. Okay, look, the Trinity. Okay, when when Jesus was asked about the last hour, why did he say? What did he say? He said, as, as you know, no yeah, yeah, yeah. On, on heaven and earth knows except for the Father. Except for the Father. How come Jesus or the Spirit don't know if they're part of the Trinity? And you can't say humbled themselves. The Spirit did not humble himself. And he's a member of the Trinity. So where is the co-equality between these three persons of that Trinity? There is none. What about death? Jesus died for your sins. You say, okay, it's so not ontologically, economical, I understand that. Yeah? But God Almighty, you know, this is what I'm saying, Islam is better. God does not die in any sense. It says the, God, it says the word became flesh. 
not in flesh and dwelt with flesh. So it became flesh. So if that flesh dies, that means God died. In Islam, no, we say the word be became, became flesh. flesh the, yeah, the word was still the word before the flesh. It became yeah, the word just what you believe, and it became and it became flesh. flesh yeah. But, the but then the spirit, Jesus cried out, and he gave up his spirit. spirit. Yeah. Meaning the spirit departed from the flesh. The flesh is meaningless to you, even if it dies. It's meaningless to you. We don't believe that the flesh is meaningless. I know. I'm trying to say. If, you're, if, the, if the flesh is meaningless, then why is the resurrection so important? It's not. That's what we're trying the to say. The resurrection is not important. Why? Because even in I mean, the Old Testament, you have people who are resurrected. In our full completeness in body and soul. And coming back. And, and, and the fixing of the fall of man. But this is a church Coming teaching which is not soul. even based on biblical and the Bible is not based on anything which we establish. Why? A, example, yeah? Jesus uh, or the Old Testament says, The soul that sinneth, it shall die. No man bears the iniquities of the Father, no father bears the iniquities of the Son. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. I am not responsible for your sin, and he is not responsible for your sin. Every man that sinneth is responsible for their own sin. And that makes perfect sense. Jesus did not say, I came to die for you. He said, be it your will, not my will. Let this cup of death pass me. And this is where we say, Allahu la ilaha illahu al hayyul al qayyum. The Muslims don't believe in original sin. No, there's no such thing as original sin. But they believe in the fall of man. So in the, not in the same concept as that you lot believe in the fall of man. We all have fallen short in the glory of God. No, so some people like the prophets, the Anbiya alayhi so they believe we, that Adam sinned. We believe Adam alayhi salam, fatalaqa Adam and rabbihim kalimatan fataba alayhi. That Adam alayhi salam, he fell short and he asked words of repentance from his Lord and Allah, he forgave him. Who al ghafuru rahim. He is the most gracious, the most merciful, and he is pleased when his slave returns unto him. So the question isn't about these persons and their sins. It's so about you. you. When do you? Uh, we believe that we. Jesus we is the servant of God. Free will, and that it's our he's our Father, and we choose to follow him. So we have, have yeah, we. Consequence for not following him. 